Uh, Mom? Bonnie's calling. Don't answer it. Mom, I can see you're stressed. You're just pouring milk into the dehumidifier. Oh, shit. Hey, Gail, you must be so excited about your lunch this afternoon. You must also be exhausted with all the cooking that I know you've been doing. I thought to save you a little time, I'd swing by with a store-bought pie so you don't have to worry about doing dessert. A store-bought pie? What am I, from Les Mis? I bet you would like me to serve a store-bought pie at my pristine lunch at Bonnie. I bet you would oh, love I bet, that. Oh, I bet, oh, 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 I bet you'd like that. Why Bonnie. don't you just use a store-bought pie? The same reason your father and I didn't have our wedding at Chuck E. Cheese, Terry. Because we're not slobs in this house. It's just tacky. Oh, yeah. Please come over. Enjoy the store-bought pie. And afterwards, let's have a chicken nugget fight. What you do when you serve a store-bought dessert is you're basically climbing out of the trenches and you're waving the white flag in the air. It's a sign of weakness. It's a lazy dessert. If I were to serve a store-bought pie, I would essentially be Robert E. Lee to Bonnie's Ulysses S. Grant riding into the Apatomox courthouse, handing over my womanhood and passing in my cuisine chart. Can't you see what's happening here? Bonnie's trying to shanghai me. Bonnie's trying to make me look like a dried up Baba Yaga woman by leaving me with the store-bought. Terry, when you serve a store-bought dessert, it says, I wanted to have a party, but I didn't want to actually cook anything. 